Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new uh, box opening video of um, a new doll that I got and also I've been waiting for an apparel item that I ordered like a month ago um, before Danny had switched to DHL. So I'm going to open up both of them in this video. All right, so let's um, get started. Um, I would open this one after it opened the doll. Smart doll boxes, usually brown box with smart doll written on it. On the side, see uh, Culture Japan. Um, they're wrapped really well. Um, I don't know why this has a hole in it, but maybe somebody's trying to break out. Um, so what I wanna do is just have my little laser here. Try to open this up. Tape isn't too hard to kind of rip if you haven't cut it that well. And like most smart dolls, they come in a keep calm and carry smart doll bag, which is great for reusable shopping bags. <laughs> and when you open this bag, you'll see that there is a Culture Japan box, which is nice for using or storing your clothes that you have for your doll. If, um, you don't have that many. I've had to um, get a bigger plastic container to fit all my accessories, clothes, shoes, all that stuff for the dolls. But this is a nice, nice reusable box if you have a um, smaller collection of clothes. Um, this box does house has all the um, wigs and any apparel items that you ordered um, for your smart doll. I happened to get a few new apparel items along with my order to try to get the free shipping. <laughs> Good incentive on free shipping if um, you're able to get more items because the shipping is pretty quick. I also got the Tokyo jeans here. And I got this new dress as well. I really liked the color of this dress, so I can't wait to put it on my girl. And the wig here. I don't know if you guys can get any hints who this is yet with the darker wig. And then also the stand as well with a Mirai um, card. So, again, you can use this box as storage if you would like. Alright, so let's see who I got here. Now, Smart Dolls, they come wrapped really well in bubble wrap. Really protected here. As you may be able to tell, this is a tea girl. And right out. Hmm. And they come dressed in a white sports bra apparel set. And let's see who this is. So this is the Journey Alternate T version. Um, I have the classic milk version of Journey, and she is one of my favorite sculpts, so I decided to go with the alternate version because I really like her look. Um, I almost went with Destiny, but I felt like I couldn't commit to Destiny's expression um, because she had a tougher, like, look to her, I guess, um, 
and I wanted somebody just a little bit softer, so I went with Journey T, and Journey can have a sister too. That's just like her, just T. <laughs> um, so this is her head, the the wig, or not the wig, um, the head cap here, so you can pop off and take out the eyes, which I tend to do a lot with my dolls. Um, but she is gorgeous, and this is my first tea girl, so I have to get all the hand sets as well um, to change out hands and all that, and bus size, because Journey, the, the current Journey I have is milk, so they can't really share stuff, <laughs> unfortunately. But this is Journey. Smart dolls, brand new smart dolls, at least are kind of a little bit stiffer when you first get them, but they do start, start to like loosen up a lot more um, once you have them. All right, so let's get her dressed and styled and I will do a photo shoot with her. the photo shoot I put together for you. I just wanted to show a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the two journeys. This one is the alternate version. This one is the classic version with the mouth open. And that is a milk tone. This is a tea tone here. So you can definitely see the difference between the two. I am in love with the new tea journey as well as my old journey. So I just wanted to thank you guys for watching and please like and subscribe this video.